Keine andere Marke ist wohl so präsent im Hip-Hop wie diese. Well, there is this whole thing with the American rappers wearing Balenciaga all of a sudden. Seit der Designer Demna 2015 zum Chefkreativen bei Balenciaga ernannt wurde, vergeht kaum eine Woche ohne Balenciaga Name Drop oder Gala Look. Demnas Partner BFRD weiß warum. I think it's because they understood what it means to wear Balenciaga. It's, it's constructed in a way that it gives you attitude and that's exactly what they're looking for. They want to be a character, they want to be impressive and bold. Nicht nur Rapper, auch Rennfahrer Lewis Hamilton, Produzent Blood Orange, Reality-Ikone Kim Kardashian oder Schauspiellegende Isabelle Huppert feiern den Look. It's very difficult to walk in the street incognito. In a full Balenciaga look, you will get reactions and I guess that's what you're looking for. When Justin Bieber is wearing Balenciaga, He looks like an elevated version of himself. Auch die Präsentationen des Pariser Traditionshauses sind eine aufgepumpte Version dessen, was man von Modeschauen kennt. Zuletzt mit Fetischmasken auf dem Parkett der New Yorker Wall Street oder mit den teuersten Müllsäcken der Welt durch einen Schneesturm auf der Pariser Fashion Week. It's really to give a strong impression to the people that are at the show. Der Soundtrack dazu kommt von ihm. Loic Gomez alias BFRND. Demnas Ehemann ist Model und Komponist für alle Balenciaga Shows seit 2015. Vom Chef kommt nur eine Zielvorgabe, der Sound muss ballern. With them it's always coming out of the comfort zone going further 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 the comment about more or less is always more And the sound level has to be loud as a Rammstein concert BFRD's Inspiration liegt irgendwo zwischen Heavy Metal Hans Zimmer und hartem Techno Blockbuster-Sound für Blockbuster-Shows. Die Vorstellung der Sommerkollektion 2020 erinnert an eine EU-Parlamentsversammlung. Chefdesigner Demner spielt mit den Symbolen der Macht. There was the smell of blood coming into the room. And the music was my interpretation of the, the soundtrack of Jaws, the movie. It was also the way of doing a critic of society. Who are the sharks? Neben den Shows arbeitet er an eigener Musik. I'm known for that, very loud and stuff, and I'm happy about it, but I have other stuff to show. Seine Solo-Sachen erinnern an New Wave und Electro Clash. like new wave references because I'm born with this kind of music at home it will be always new wave hard rock uh, trance techno I would go out in raves in the woods with the most hardcore electronic music you could find um, and all that just mixed and clashed into each other and made who BFR and is today and what the album is about so it will remind you stuff But it's my vision of it, and my vision is not direct. I wanna dance with you forever. Eh, eh.
I grew up in the south of France in a very small town near Spain and I've always been goth. I've always had like a different look than other people and I'm gay and this, all these, these things um, made my experience really difficult in the south of France because I couldn't really be myself until I met a friend that owned a concert venue that had almost only metal concerts. So I would go there as much as possible because there I never had to come out. Um, no one would ask me about my sexuality or make me feel that it could be an issue. It was just not a question. I just learned that it was okay to be myself and that that place um, was actually secure for me. But there is not one artist that I'm like, wow, that's really exactly what I want to hear and see. And that's probably why I do what I do, is to have that, because I don't identify with anyone, it's not arrogance, it's just there is no one that fits my vision completely. Außer vielleicht sein Mann Demna. Der Balenciaga Kreativdirektor, hier als Simpsons Charakter, erschüttert regelmäßig die Fashionwelt. Er macht aus Bademänteln Haute Couture. Druckt das Balenciaga Logo auf Gucci Handtaschen und verwandelt Plastiksandalen und Turnschuhe in High Heels. When you have ready-made incorporated in the collection, it's a Mar Marcel Duchamp uh, reference. It's you take an IKEA bag and you make it a luxury bag. That's also pop culture. Durch die vielen Zitate erinnert die Mode oft an trollige Internet Jokes und an das Sampling, ganz ähnlich wie im Hip Hop. It's desirable objects that are from the daily life that becomes luxury and um, I think that's what people react to as well. Alltag wird Luxus, Streetwear wird High Fashion. Aber was bedeutet BFRD denn noch Subkultur in einer Zeit, wo Gothkeller und Laufsteg, Subversion und Kommerz miteinander verschmelzen? I think genre is really dead. Subcultures, they are dead since a long time. Um, people don't want to say I'm goth, I'm, I'm punk or whatever. They want to say I'm me. You know, they choose an, a username on social media and it becomes their brand really inspired by influencers and Kardashians and stuff like that. I have nothing against it, um, but I don't think subcultures will um, be born from this kind of approach. I have hopes about things like metaverse, where you will be thrown in a whole universe wearing clothes and it becomes a dream and so you're more likely to dream about something you are not and really create something, a new identity and then probably subcultures, but today subcultures don't exist anymore and that's okay. I'm not seeking for paradise when I have you by my side, join me in the afterlife. Let me take you for a ride after life.